If you've ever traveled on US 30 from Fort Wayne to Warsaw, you can't ignore the stoplights that slow down your trip. Well, INDOT is going to be studying the possibility of a new Fort Wayne to Warsaw expressway to speed up travel. We broke the story on First at Five, and tonight News Channel 15's Adam Widener has the story from Columbia City. Well, plans for a U.S. 30 extension are still very preliminary, but the bottom line is that a study could soon be in place to make travel through places like here in Columbia City a whole lot easier. It would be a major victory for the many who travel between Fort Wayne and Warsaw frequently. Traffic could get bottlenecked for whatever reason. State leaders will be trying to figure out one of two alternatives for quicker travel on U.S. 30. According to State Senator David Long, one would be constructing overpasses over problematic intersections. The other would create a whole new limited access highway in that area. What's the impact if we would take a farmer's uh, a piece of their, their land? How would it impact the farmers? We're going to look at businesses, homes, uh, historical areas. Although U.S. 30 doesn't even go through Huntington County, commissioners there approved the expansion study this morning. State leaders slipped it into an agreement for the $30 million Lafayette Center Road expansion from Roanoke to I-69. Surprised? So were they. My commissioners didn't know about it until they saw it this morning. I thought the $30 million project that we were talking about was big. To do something like this uh, dwarfs a $30 million project. Northeast Indiana has now uh, got two projects that they're talking about out of the transportation bills this year. Still, this is only the first step in what is expected to be a very extensive process. There's a lot of things that have to happen before we're, we're shovel ready. In Dot and the Allen County Commissioners still have to sign paperwork before the study can get underway. It should be on the Allen County Commissioner agenda this Friday. In Columbia City, Adam Widener, News Channel 15.